Dad, I see messaging apps bragging about end-to-end -end encryption, but what does that actually mean? Is it just a buzzword, or does it seriously protect my data? It's way more than marketing, Steve. End-to-end -end encryption, or E2EE, -E, means only the sender and receiver can read a message. No one in between, not even the messaging company, can decrypt it. So the data is encrypted on my phone before it even leaves? Exactly. Let's say you send a message to your friend. Your phone uses their public key to encrypt the message. Once it's encrypted, it travels across the internet, even through servers, as unreadable noise. And my friend's phone has the private key to unlock it? Right again. Only their private key can decrypt the message. So even if someone intercepts the message, they can't read it without that key. So apps like Signal or WhatsApp don't know what I'm sending? Nope. The messages might pass through their servers, but they can't access the content. That's the core of zero access architecture. They store the data, but can't see it. But what about group chats? That sounds more complicated. It is. Group chats use a technique called the double ratchet algorithm, which constantly rotates encryption keys and ensures forward secrecy, meaning past messages stay safe even if a device is compromised. So end-to-end -end isn't just about encryption, it's about key management too? Bingo. Without secure key exchange, encryption is worthless. That's why Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange and Public Key Infrastructure are critical. All right, that's solid. So unless someone gets my actual device, my messages are safe? That's the idea. End-to-end -end encryption guards your privacy even from the platform itself. 